Hello, everybody. And this is Becky here at Bex Creations. And I'm actually getting myself trained to my new name. Um, so we're going to do part two today. And as I've said, I'm, these are going to be kind of short lives. So 30 or 45 minutes at max. And so what you'll need today is your paper pad and um, pull out... I had enough paper in my paper pad that I don't have to repeat any of my papers. But if you don't have that, don't worry about it. Just make like a double faced so the paper's the same on both right and left if you have to. Because um, not all paper pads have this many papers. Hi, Pam. We are not going to worry with the extra cards or the tag pieces today. We'll do that in part three. We're just going to focus on our little book and getting it matted up. And so what I've got, is I've already cut mats for the envelopes. Hi, Nina. And the flap because the mat will be a different size because hence the card is smaller, right? So if you are using, if you are using the same envelopes and cards that I am, you will need eight mats that measure four and one eighth by five and a half. And then you'll need six mats that measure three and three quarters by five and a quarter. And I hope I got that right. So there's one, two. Yeah, you'll need two because you need one for here and one for here. We are not going to mat the outside envelopes because those will get attached to our covers and we'll do the covers another day. But right now we're just going to focus on getting the mats on the inside. Okay. Now, another thing, if you want to ink your edges, remember to do that before you put your paper down. So if I open this. I've got different papers here. So I could put this one here. And where the envelope is open, you're just going to cover that with your paper. And when you adhere the paper down, it'll close that envelope up. And there, I'll have that there. I'm just going to put these in place and then I'm going to get my ink out and work my way through. And I'm going to do these first before I start putting mats on the envelope so I don't accidentally mix them up. And I think I will um, ink my edges. I'm going to set my flat mats aside for right now. I'm looking for walnut stain. I'm going to go ahead and put the tape on them before I start handling that ink. I'll put the tape on and then I'll ink it and then I'll stick it down. Oh, and you know what I want to do on this one? Because we're going to need places to put those cards and the tags. On this one, let's stop. Back up a minute. I want to put a little um, half square triangle on this mat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this paper, which I have the scrap for it, right here. And I'm going to cut a square. Um, out of this. So make this a square and I'll tell you how big it is in just a second. This should be plenty big enough. So let's see, this gives me, it's a four and an eighth. So if I do four and an eighth, the tricky part is how I do it so it attaches to the mat. All right, so you've got this here now, like this. So I'm going to get my scoreboard 
and I'm going to score it a half an inch from this side and this side. So if you've got your paper right side up, you want to score it on the left side of your piece of paper and then along the bottom at a half an inch. And I'll, and I'll show you what we'll do next. So scoring at a half an inch. And then I'll turn it and score it a half an inch again. And then I'm going to get my metal ruler. And I'm going to turn this over because it's easier to see. But you're going to take and you're going to make a line, a score line that goes from from this score line to this score line on a diagonal. Diagonal. I'll get my words out eventually. And I'm just going to score along there. That way you can fold this down into the back and it fits in the back like that and you want to adhere this down so I'm just going to put a little tape in there just a little bit you need to just hold it down what this does is gives you a folded edge so that when you're sliding things into your pocket you don't catch on that rough cut edge all right you need to take your scissors and cut that square out right there. If I'm going too fast, scream at me and say, slow down. Hi, Brittany. And I'm going to cut that out at an angle like this. And I'll cut these corners off. At an angle too so it's like that and I'll hold that up so you can see I cut these at an angle and cut the square out at an angle and I'm going to go ahead and and crease these and fold them down and burnish them a little bit then I want you to put tape right here on this part And I, will, I was thinking I would only put a pocket like this on this front flap, the front first page inside, and then the, the last page. And that would give us places to put our two, um, two cards. So they'll be like a little fold-out book. I'm doing fine. Okay. So now let's go ahead and ink this piece and ink this edge of our pocket, the diagonal, so everything is inked before we put them together. I've got my Distress Ink, and I'm just going to ink the edge like so. Just so you don't have that real stark white against your, your uh, craft paper. The thing about it, when you go to make your other envelope, you'll have to think, or your other little pocket, you're going to have to think about the orientation because you're at the back of the book. We might go ahead and do the other pocket together so I can show you what I mean. That makes sense. We can do that. So I ink that edge. I'm going to go ahead and fold my flaps and ink this edge here. The flaps are going to fit over your page or your, not your page, but your mat. And if you do all this inking before you tape them down, is a good thing, it is a good thing. All right, so we'll do the front cover page and then we'll do the back cover page, just so you guys see the difference in orientation. Now you take this and you set your mat in it, right side up. Um, we might want to, we're going to have to pull this tape free. So there's going to be double glue, but that's okay. And then we'll have to add some more so that we can stick it onto our page. So get this down in the corner. And then peel your tape off. And we'll stick them together. 
And that'll hold that pocket on good with two layers of tape right there. All right. So now you're going to have to put some tape, you know, where there is none here or it won't stick to the page. And you really only need to put it where those tabs are because there's tape already up there. Hopefully that made sense. So now when you tape this down, you will have your little pocket is already attached. Okay. And usually I'll do this like this. And I learned this from Christina Werner. If you fold your out like that, that keeps you from setting it all the way down and gluing it to the page. All right. I've got my trash can here. I'm not throwing things on the floor, I promise. All right. So get it as centered as you can get it. And this seals that envelope too. All right like so and then you can pull your tape out all right we're going to do both pocket pages so that you guys can see what i mean about the back pocket needs to be different because the pocket will be on the opposite corner so there's that pocket and i'll show you our little extra cards we had we can stick in that pocket like that and we'll mat those next time we'll do all the the cards and the tags and stuff next time. Right now, I just wanted to show you how to get these mats down. All right, this is the back of the book. So I need this star paper again. Let me get a scrap of the star paper. Um, stars. There we go. And I uh, need to set that aside. And I need the cutter up here. And if I remember right, we cut that at four, whatever the width of this is, four and a quarter, I think. Yeah. Or four and an eighth. Is that four and an eighth? Well, this one's going to be four and an eighth. All right. So now if you look at how your pocket, your, your page is, the pocket's going to be on this corner. So when we look at our paper, we're going to need to score a half an inch from the right side and the bottom. When you do the front one, it's on the left side and then the bottom. Does that make sense? Because you want your pocket to go in like that. I never want pockets here, like in the back of a book, because when your pockets are there, as you're flipping through the book, things will fall out. So I always try to put it so the pocket is toward the outer edge of any page. So that's what I do. That's what I do. So again, we're going to score um, for the back pocket on the right side and the bottom. And the reason I say that is you want your design to, you know, be in the same orientation as well. So I'm going to, I'm for this one, I'm going to just turn my paper upside down. So I'm on the right side of the paper. So that's actually the left side is getting scored. And then the bottom. Now I'll turn it over and show you what I mean. So see, I'm scored here and here. Now we're going to get our ruler and do our diagonal from one score line to the other score line. And if you lay your ruler so it's at the very top edge, like here's the bottom edge, here's the top edge. If you put it toward the top edge of that score line and the top edge of this, then when you fold it in half, you won't have the tip of this interfering with the score lines down here. I've got a nick in this ruler. I just felt it. It's because I use it for all kinds of stuff. So let's see if I can fold it. It might need to be scored again because let's flip the ruler around maybe. There. There. There we go. All 
right? And I want to stick this down again. Hi, Mary. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Andrea. Hi, Kathy Whitney. Hello to everybody. Put a little piece of tape there. You don't need a lot because the pressure of it getting pushed in, and this is the inside of the pocket. So you basically just need to hold it in place so you can deal with everything else. All right. So now you're going to cut. This is the edge. This will be your pocket edge when you put it on the paper. So you want to cut this at a diagonal this way. And then this one you'll do a diagonal this way. So from the fold down. And then you cut your corner out. And this corner out. And I've made these pockets on my channel before. Um, they're just a fun pocket. And by folding them, they turn out a lot more stable. Go ahead and pre-fold. And pre-fold. And I'm not going to put the adhesive. The, tape on this until I get the pocket um, on this time so that we have tape everywhere. All right. So I'm going to do my edges of my pocket. And the next time in part three, we'll do the cover and the inserts, the tags and the the cards. We'll make those into like little books. But we'll do that next time. Because we keep these kind of short. So everybody can, you know, do this step. And then you'll be ready for next week. And part one was less than 30 minutes. And I've put the link to part one in the description box. If you're new and you haven't started yet. I would love to use up all of my card bases and make a bunch of little books. Those would be good to stick in my um, my gift basket or, uh, you know, my contest box, that kind of thing. All right, so I've got this here. I want to put my pocket on this way. So we need to put some adhesive right here. And the reason I didn't put that adhesive on is so I don't have, you know, a double pile of adhesive and basically wasting it. So if I look at this, this is going to fit down in the corner like so. And if you fold this up, you can make sure you're in the right place and hold your paper into the pocket and then tape it. That way you don't mess up where you're putting it and end up having to pull it apart and that kind of thing. If you get it set in place and then hold it in place, you do better. All right. So now all of it's inked. The pocket's attached. Now I'll put the tape around the outside so I won't waste tape like I did on the first one. Hi, Angie. All right. So go ahead and put your tape on. Right over that. Um, so next week, you'll need your envelope journal with the mats attached. You're going to need um, a piece of ribbon, uh, like the satiny ribbon, because it stays tied better than the grow grain. But it's up to you. If you want to use grow grain ribbon, you can. Um, and if you have embellishments that kind of match your paper pad you can bring those because basically I'm going to try to finish this up so there will be only three parts to this project all right so you got them little tails sticking out this gives you an opportunity to get it centered without it sticking itself down. You know, this tape will grab when you least expect it, and then it'll be in the wrong spot, and you'll be kicking yourself. This works so good. I'm glad Christina showed how to do that. If you don't watch Christina Werner, she's a great card maker. She comes up with some interesting ideas. 
All right, so now we've installed the back pocket and the front pocket. So now we'll go through and we'll just quickly attach all our other mats to the pages. Ink them up. This one is hardly showing the ink. But I'll know it's there. I had thought about doing most of this up and having it done. So you just wouldn't have to watch me ink pages and stuff. So basically, what you're going to need to do before next week is just get all your mats, you know, however you want to do your edges, you can do ink. You can just take a marker and make a black line border. Like to do that, I would take my ruler like this and then kind of lay it where you've got just enough exposed and then just run your black Sharpie down through there and it gives a nice black border that way. That's another way to do this without having ink if you don't have the inks. That's another way to get a little edging on your pages, on your mats. And then again, you'll have eight mats this size. Okay, so let me step back real quick because Janet had said she couldn't do it because she didn't have the cards and envelopes. You can use whatever envelopes you have. The thing about it is, in fact, you could mix sizes and everything. The thing you'd have to keep in mind is you're going to have to measure your envelopes to know what each, each size of your mat needs to be. So if you use a variety of envelopes in different sizes, you would have to measure every single one. But if you use like standard letter envelopes, you know, the, just the little narrow envelopes that you'd send a letter in, you could use those and then just make smaller mats. Easy peasy. And so for just a, a mat page, ink the edges, put your tape on the back and then get it where you want it and set it down and take the tape away, the tabs away. That looks pretty good. I'm defrosting bean soup for lunch. Can't wait. My tummy's been growling. So we'll turn the page here. We gotta go inside here. I've got the mats for the flaps. Um, do you guys want the measurements again or you want me to? I'll just put them in the description box. See, I should have probably had these all inked up before I started. And you guys won't have to wait on me. And I'll put this one on here. I like this red paper. I wish they had more with the red background. I just think it looks cool. And then they've got that little bit of teal paper on there. I like. But I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep making different kinds of journals. And if I make one that I like, I'll share it with you guys. <laughs> you know, by my own design. While I've got the ink on, I'm just gonna keep inking. And then I'll put the tape on. The microwave is saying, the soup is defrosted. You could put it in the pot now. So I had eight, eight mats this size. And we've already put two down, so I only have to I only have to glue six of these down. And your homework is to do this. <laughs> All right, this is the last one. And I was just trying to use a variety of the papers. So every page, every flap, I had enough papers that they're all going to be a different paper. Now, if you don't want to do that, like if you wanted this whole spread to be the same, feel free to use the same paper all the way across. 
That's entirely up to you. That's a personal choice. Is that everybody? I think it is. Okay. So let's glue him down or stick him down. Hi, Gail. How are you? We've been missing you in crafting chat. Um, Thursday. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I had thought about doing one on Fridays, you know, um, in my group. It's hard for me to do things on the weekend because, you know, that's when we usually do everything. But with Scott being home more, we've been goofing off a lot. <laughs> I've been trying to get all the laundry done today. And Fridays is usually my change the sheet day and get the the wet towels, you know, do all of that kind of stuff on Friday. All right, we'll be coming back to do these flats next. So next week, bring your, your tags from where we cut the cards and your extra two cards, ribbon, um, the cardboard stuff, whatever you're going to use for your cover, you'll need that next week. I'm going to reuse this box from the grain-free grain granola bars. Um, so you'll need that and the ribbon and more of your paper. And before you know it, you'll have a book. Voila. It, I can't do a room today, but I'll, I might do one next Friday. Um, I've just got, I've got to catch up around here because with us playing hooky and thrifting, I haven't been, I haven't been doing my housework and it's starting to come alive. I need to get my room back under control. I've got fabric over on the table where I said I wasn't going to stack fabric so we could always use the table to eat and now it's got fabric on it and, uh, I've got the two bins of fabric here. I want to match up with patterns. I've got to start sewing through my stash. I just, I've got too much stuff. I need to use it up. And I want to make hats and blankets and that kind of stuff to either put in my gift box or to donate to causes. I want to work on that again this year. And, um, I need to get with Lizzie and find out if she's going to do the hats for the homeless again this next year. Or I might um, approach the, our local um, shelter and see if if they could use hats next winter and I can start working on them now. Oh, bye, Mina. Yes, please do come back and watch the rest. Um, it's really not a lot to it. I'm just putting that down today. I'll go until I get it all matted. Oh, another thing about your paper pads. Sometimes, you know, they have those pages like, like this. That This one has like bingo cards on it. Um, I've got one that has borders on it. So, and then this one is really cute. But this kind of stuff you can cut out and add to your cover as um, embellishments. You can add it to the little, like the cards we're going to put in here. You can use them as embellishments on that. Or you could make paper clips, whatever you want to do. I'm just being quick here. Callie, that's my chair. Quit digging on it. I love this with the dots and the stars. I think it's so pretty. So this would be definitely for a little boy. And it folds down. Yeah, I need to see. 
she donated a ton of hats this year because I sent her like 42 hats. I went a little crazy, a little crazy. And I need to start working on Project Dress a Girl dresses, get those made up. And while I got the tape here, I'll just go ahead and put tape on this one. When you're working on something like this, it's best to cut out all the mats you need, then do all of the inking, then do all of the taping. Because if you try to do one page and then go to the next one, you might miss a step, like you might miss inking it, and then it's impossible to ink it once it's set down. So it's best to go through, cut all your mats, go through, ink all of your mats, then put the tape on and then add them to the page. I love this. This is my favorite paper in this in this book. I think I'll have an I have another sheet of it. I might use it as my cover on the little book. Of course, I think I still have papers I haven't even used any of. That one's a little off, but I'm not going to worry about it. It's close enough. Now, if somebody's using this and they want to, like, mat their photos again with black or use those black picture uh, Thingma bombs, they could do that. Got one more mat. This one and this one are done. And then we got to do the mats for this. What does that say? Yeah, um, I chose to stuck an ad in the middle. Sorry. I just wanted to see what it did. Um, it, it's an option. You can add an ad mid midstream or mid roll or whatever they call it. And I like that you can choose to see live reactions. So if somebody likes your video or whatever, um, you get little hearts and things shoot up near the the um, chat. It's really kind of neat. But if it becomes too annoying for you all, please let me know and I will not do that. All right, so now I've got all these mats here. So these are the flat mats. And if you're using the same size envelope again, these mats are three and three quarter by five and a quarter. And you only need six of those. Okay, well, I will not do that again, Kathy. I just wanted to see what it did. I didn't see anything, which is which is weird. <laughs> now I know what it does. That just doesn't sound very nice for a live performance. I'm sorry. Again, I'm going to ink all of these up and then I'll put tape on all of them and then we'll put them down and that will be what we're going to do to finish out today. Do you guys like these shorter ones where I'm doing just like a step at a time and then giving you a week to work on it? That way you don't have to feel rushed. And if you need to go back and look at something, it's not very far back that you have to go. You know what I'm saying? If I do them shorter, I just thought it would be better. Now, if we do games, you know, like prompt games and stuff, those will be longer. Because you just can't help it because you're playing, right? And I don't want to be on too long because Barb Owen comes on this afternoon. And I want to be able to have my lunch. i got to make the bed yet. And I pulled the, the lazy act. I um, didn't put fresh sheets on the bed. I'm just going to put the ones I washed back on the bed. They'll be fresh when they're out of the dryer, right? I just don't feel like fighting sheets today. You know, 
folding fitted sheets, that kind of thing. Oh, this sponge has had it. This one's going in the trash. I'm flinging bits of sponge everywhere. So next week, bring your whatever you're going to use for your cover, more paper and ribbon, and then any kind of embellishments that you want to do. I'm going to have to look through mine and see what I have. You'll be fighting the fitted, fitted sheets today. Yeah, Friday seems to just be a really good day to do the sheets. So I just always do sheets on Friday. Sheets on Friday. Sounds like, you know, some kind of special at restaurant or something. We're going to have sheets on Friday, okay? And let's see. That'll do. We'll be matting our tags and stuff and that kind of thing next week. Amaral, what's the matter? Amaral? Cole, are you trying to start a fight? No fighting. That's kind of brat, brat material. Don't be starting a fight. It's not worth it. Uh -oh. Scott talked with his boss yesterday and they're going to create a job for him. So hopefully things will get better hours wise. Hello, Cole. Wow. It's just so much easier to continue the same action than it is to do an action, then do another action, and then do a different action. It's just so much easier to just run through them. Birds are singing. We're supposed to get some rain tonight. One more. And then I'll look at the chat. I'm getting a bunch of notifications. Oh, in fact, um, um, Kay Werner Designs is coming on in about 30 minutes, she says. So I guess she'll be live at about 1. So when I go off, you might want to watch watch her. She, Like I said, she does some amazing cards and she does lettering like Dee Dee. Um, it's really interesting. All right, let's turn these over. So if we open our book, we've got stripes here and all this blue here. I was thinking maybe some red to pull out the red in this other paper right here. Friday fun day. No fights allowed. That's right, Cole. He's such a little tyrant. All of my cats are sleeping right now. All right, so we'll stick this on the outside. I'm going to heat up that bean soup that was in the freezer. I love freezing the extra soup because then that's like a free meal later. And I might make grilled cheese sandwiches to go with it. So let's open this up. Oh, I like this green to go here. We'll put the green on the inside. Oh, let's see here. And Jane Litterick has a new video up, too, if you don't watch her. She's pretty awesome as well. All right. That sounds good. I'm, I'd like to do some short videos where it's just segmented so you could work a little bit and then come back. Yes, leftovers are awesome. Let's 
the free meal. No more labor intensive than heating it up. That's always a good thing. So on this page here where we didn't put a pocket, you could do like just a shorter pocket that's mounted to the front of the card to put your tags in. We might do that next week. Um, let's see here. I think I'll put this one here. Yes, it is. You don't have a cutting board and knives and all of that kind of stuff out. Like you do when you're starting from scratch type meal. It was so funny. We went for pizza last night and they charged us for the takeout box to bring the extras home. A whole quarter. Things have gotten crazy. Oh, you're taking that with you? That's going to cost you another 25 cents. I was kind of taken aback. I was just like, really? Wow. Well, the cost of the meal went up too. So I was a little shocked that they were charging me for the other. But you got to do what you got to do, I reckon. Let's put this red one right here. I like those combinations too. And I like... Um, um, bananas and peanut butter. I think I'm going to put it this way. So next week we'll finish it up. And you'll have a little book. A little brag book of sorts. All right, and the last flap, put this one here. Hi, Lisa. I'm just finishing up, and I'll do a quick flip of what we did today. We just basically matted everything and then added the pockets to the front and the back covers. Remember, don't put any mats on the outside of the the stack of envelopes that we've got together because that's where you're going to attach your cover. If you use wet glue, the only issue I've ever had with wet glue is it makes the paper really wrinkly. And if you like that look, go for it. But I like to use double-sided tape myself. And of course, I am covered in ink <laughs> just as you do all right I'll put this on here so ribbon that matches your paper more paper and the recycled cardboard or chipboard or whatever you're using for your cover and we'll do that next week so here's our little book this is the front. Do not mat this or this because that's where the covers are going to attach, okay? So we've got our little pocket here, and that's where we'll put our little envelope. We're going to make this into like a little book to stick in there. We'll probably mat the outsides, and then on the inside, I'm going to put some kind of paper to just write on. We've also got our tags that we need to make. We've got three tags and two three tags and two envelopes left over. This flaps open, so you have all this room for pictures. And then turn your page, and then more pictures. And more pictures. So this little thing will hold a ton of pictures and another pocket. And then don't do the back. All right? So that's what we'll work on next week. And we'll finish up then. And we're right at 45 minutes. So I'll talk to y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.